Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to my new house. This is the first, no, it's the second video I've filmed in here so far, but hopefully we'll be doing many, 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 many more. But in this video, we're gonna be talking all about vegan breakfast because the most common, one of the most common questions I get asked is what do vegans eat for breakfast? A lot of people think if you give up eating eggs and bacon and even like pancakes for breakfast that you don't have anything left. But that is not true. There are so many things that you can be having for breakfast as a vegan that are nutritious, that are super delicious, and that are even easy to make. You don't have to spend so much time in the kitchen every morning when you're vegan. So in this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you 16 of those recipes, but before we get started, make sure you hit the like button, that little thumbs up down below, tap that, and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, make sure you subscribe. Let's get right into it. So my first recipe is my mushroom avocado toast. Avocado toast is great, but it's much greater when you put some mushrooms on top and not any old mushrooms. Make sure if you're gonna give this recipe a try that you use the mushrooms that have the most flavor. Mushrooms like maitake or oyster mushrooms or even shiitake mushrooms. You can find all of these at your local Asian grocery store or you can even grow them at home. It's not that hard but it really does take avocado toast to another level, trust me. Now this next little chunk of recipes, I just wanna preface it by saying these are amazing and so easy to make ahead of time. So you don't have to wake up in the morning and spend a lot of time in the kitchen preparing breakfast. So let's start off with the breakfast burritos. These breakfast burritos are made with sweet potato and beans and even spinach, so they're nice and balanced. You can make them ahead of time, so you just have to warm them up in the morning. You can warm them in the microwave or on the stove top, or if you have a grill press, like a panini press or a George Foreman grill, that is perfect for this. They are so, so good. I also love to make my breakfast enchiladas ahead of time, but the only struggle with that recipe and really all these savory recipes is not eating them all in one day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. They're that good. But this recipe is really easy to double or even triple and you can even freeze it for later. Just saying, it's a good idea. Now, if you're looking for a replacement for uh, scrambled eggs, may I recommend scrambled tofu. It is so easy to make. It's basically the same process as making scrambled eggs, but you're using tofu. You can still add your vegetables to it and spices to it. For the scrambled tofu, I actually like to add even more spice to it because tofu doesn't have any flavor on its own. So adding salt, black salt, which has an eggy taste, nutritional yeast and turmeric, also wonderful, and the best tofu scramble, in my opinion, has vegan sausage and mushrooms. Now, for an alternative to the tofu scramble, you can try chickpea flour scramble. Yes, chickpea flour scramble. It is so amazing. You use chickpea flour, you mix that with nice spices, and um, I do flaxseed and some water to thin it out, and then you, like an egg, whisk, 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 and add it to your pan. It's much more similar to cooking scrambled eggs than scrambled tofu, and it's absolutely delicious, filling, nourishing, all that good stuff. Now for a savory Sunday vegan breakfast, you gotta try these next three recipes. Now first off is the sweet potato hash, AKA sweet potato home fries. I like to do a mix of sweet potatoes and white potatoes and fry them in a pan with peppers and onions and they just make me feel like I'm back at home, which now I am because I'm back in Atlanta. But I created this recipe when I was living in New York and it just reminded me of my grandmother's home fries that we would have every Sunday morning and it is mm, so good. Now, if you're having people over, you're gonna have a whole vegan brunch thing, then you got to try the vegan chicken and waffles. And for the chicken part, I use oyster mushrooms, which like I said, you can buy at your local Asian grocery store, get some really nice big ones, and you bread them and you fry them just like chicken is done for chicken and waffles, but they're better because they're made with mushrooms. I also have a great recipe for hot chicken biscuits. Now, this for the hot chicken, not mushrooms, though you could totally replace it with mushrooms, but I usually use cauliflower, and it is, oh, delicious. The hot chicken is spicy, 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 Nashville style. 
amazing and such a fun recipe that you can eat any day of the week, but it's especially wonderful on the weekends or for a vegan Sunday brunch. All right, we're gonna move on to the vegan sweet breakfast recipes now. But before we do, I just wanna remind you to tap that like button real quick. Thank you very much. Now let's move on to the sweet recipes. I just wanna start this sweet section with a pancake recipe or two. So the first one is a really healthy and super delicious, trust me, I don't do anything that's healthy but not tasty, almond flour pancakes. So for these pancakes, they're 100% gluten-free. They're made with almond flour, which is very high in healthy fats, it's high in fiber and protein, so it's gonna keep you fuller for longer. I will admit these are a little bit of pricier pancake because almond flour is expensive. So almond flour mixed with teff flour or oat flour, lots of spices and banana. You cook them just like you cook regular pancakes and enjoy. Now the next recipe is actually like my favorite breakfast recipe, at least it's my favorite pancake recipe, sweet potato pancakes made with sweet potato puree, lots of spices. They are so, so, so satisfying. And they really are my favorite pancake recipe, hands down. For a nice grab and go sweet vegan breakfast recipe, you got to try the sweet potato oat bran muffins. They are perfect. They've got wonderful texture. They've got pecans, dates. The oat bran has a nice texture. These actually are also gluten-free. So for gluten-free folks, this one's perfect for you. And it's just, again, nourishing, full of flavor. These are really easy to make. You can double or triple the recipe and freeze some for later. These are even wonderful to give as gifts. All around, this recipe is definitely five stars. Oh, actually, you know what? All these recipes, all of these are five star vegan recipes, of course. This morning for breakfast, I ate oatmeal, which I'm kind of sick of, but it's so easy to make. But when I want to spend just a little extra time, really it's not extra time. When I want to use my brain and actually think ahead a little bit, then I also like to make farro porridge. It is so easy. You just put it in an in instant pot. You can cook it for like seven minutes, the same length of time that I would cook steel cut oats in the instant pot, and you can serve it just like you would your oatmeal, your regular oatmeal. But Farro is chewier, it's a whole grain, much chewier, it has higher protein content in it, also a little bit more fiber in it, and it's just like a different experience. So if you're sick of oatmeal or steel cut oats, then definitely try the farro porridge. My grandmother, one of her favorite recipes that I created is the sweet potato biscuits. She makes it all the time, and whenever she makes it for someone else, they love it and they're so blown away. So definitely gonna recommend my sweet potato biscuit recipe as well. It's really old. It's actually even in my cookbook. It's such a winner. It's so good. So tahini granola, can we talk about that? I love granola and I gotta admit, I do still end up spending um, money on it every single week. I think I spend like $40 a month on granola. But I also like to make it myself at home. And one of my favorite ones to make is the tahini granola. Tahini is like my favorite ingredient ever. So you put it in anything and it's amazing. So gotta try that granola. It's great, make a huge batch of it and you can eat it for the whole week or day if you're me and you eat a lot of granola. All right, two more recipes. So I gotta just say, uh, before we get to these recipes, these are not the healthiest, but they still are five star, and they still are vegan, and you still need to try them. So first off, my sweet potato cinnamon rolls. Oh, so good, you can eat them all year round, but of course cinnamon rolls lend themselves more to fall and winter and the holidays. And then my second cinnamon roll recipe is the gingerbread cinnamon rolls. So if you're gonna have a holiday brunch, you definitely wanna try these. They are so amazing. They will blow away all your guests. I've made them as gifts trillions of times and people are always so impressed. So give that one a try. All right, so those are all the vegan breakfast recipes that I wanted to share with you, 16 five star vegan breakfast recipes. I hope you'll give them a try. Like I said, I had to narrow this list down significantly because I have a lot of vegan breakfast recipes, 
but make sure you head over to my blog for the actual recipes and down below all the recipes that I mentioned will be linked as well. So all the links down below for the videos and the blog posts with the actual recipes. And yeah, I hope you give them a try. But before I let you go, let me know what is your favorite vegan breakfast recipe? Um, you know, there's so many things that we could be eating for breakfast and I think sometimes you just, people just need more ideas. So share them in the comment section below. Hopefully we can inspire someone to go vegan when they realize that breakfast can be amazing, right? And they can have so much more variety than they were eating before. So share down below help someone go vegan. So that's it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a future Sweet Potato Soul video. And I will see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.